Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. I have been thinking about the Apostle Paul recently, who served God fervently. He saw the Lord do some amazing things through him, and he also won many to Jesus. Yet he struggled with a thorn in his flesh. Now the scriptures do not indicate to us as to what this thorn was, so much speculation exists concerning this. Was it a weakness that he struggled with to sometimes fall into some kind of sin? Was it oppression from his enemies or was it some kind of physical problem? Some biblical scholars suspect it may well have been the latter, possibly a problem with his eyesight. So he prayed three times that God would take it away, and God chose not to. I bet he found that frustrating, so like we often do too. The Lord replied with these words from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 to 11. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecution, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. We are so very aware of our thorns in the flesh, aren't we? We feel as though it hinders our effectiveness for Jesus. And sometimes we can hear ourselves saying things like, well, I would just get this or that sorted out in my life and then I will be able to serve Jesus. He knows, of course, that we will always face some kind of difficulty. So despite our weaknesses, he still works in us and through us. So the Apostle Paul had learned, and yes, got to the point in his relationship with God as well, that he even delighted in insults in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties, because he knew that the weaker he felt, the more God was able to display his strength in him and through him. I will repeat this again. The weaker he felt, the more God was able to display his strength in him and through him. Now this is exactly the same for us. So let's be encouraged today. God bless you. Amen.